Yes, hello and welcome folks. It's Chris here from the Ministry of Dice and I'm here today to share the latest instalment in our MOD Cribs video series. A couple of weeks ago, Andy and I did a little behind the scenes peek at our online Dice Masters play setups. We are massive advocates of playing online. We get together every week and play over Google Hangouts. And so we did a couple of videos giving you a little peek at our play spaces and the technology we use to support our online play. And at the end of that video, we put a call out to the online Dice Masters community and asked others to do a little behind the scenes nosy around in their play spaces and how they get themselves online to play Dice Masters. Our intent was pretty straightforward. We wanted to encourage those who didn't already currently play online to get themselves across the divide and into the online play space and we thought what better way than to introduce people to all the different types of setups in all the different types of rooms around all the different types of houses that the online Dice Masters play community are getting online with, take a look at the technology and the brackets and the types of webcams and so on and so forth and also to get a feel for the types of players because everybody in the online Dice Masters community is so lovely that we we just felt like a little brief introduction to who they are and what they're all about would also help. So I'm going to wrap it up there and hand over to today's guests. We've got Bodie, Kim and James giving you a little behind the scenes look at their MOD Cribs. Enjoy! Alright, so here's my setup for my phone. Um, hopefully people out there that are on the fence about playing... Dice Masters online, but they don't have a camera, um, like a webcam or anything like that. I just use my phone because my laptop is a uh, is a prick and doesn't like to agree with my webcam. Anyways, so Matt, here we go. Here's my camera stand. Check it out. My phone fits in right in this little guy right here. Use this as a counterbalance. Uh, one, I have a leg that broke off of this, and two, if when I have my phone on there, it would just fall anyway because of the weight. So, fix that right up. Put a board underneath uh, just to help my terrible rolls. Um, and then, bam, right there. My opponent's uh, play mat and area will be right on there. So, phone goes in the camera here. It's a real simple setup. And uh, use a laptop or tablet to see your opponent's field um, and their play mat area. And you're good to go. Look at that. It's cheap, easy. So if you're on the fence about playing online, uh, you don't have a webcam, but you have a phone, get yourself one of these or set something up uh, where you can have a phone easily uh, propped up looking at your playmat overhead or, you know, anything like that. So I hope this helps out a lot of people. And uh, once again, this is Bodie. Uh, thanks a lot. And I hope this helps you out. Hey, a Dice Master fans, it's Kim here, aka Super K, and I am sending you a video of my online setup for Dice Masters. So we'll start with my play mat here. Um, I work off a desk in my living room, and yes, that's Gloomhaven sitting there. Um, so there's my play mat, there's my headset. I use purely a laptop for everything. Uh, my screen, my recording, all that fun stuff. There's some junk in the corner there. Um, my camera is actually set up on, funny enough, a lamp that I use. And my camera is just right on top. The see, like fancy, you know, uh, putting together. They have tape and rubber band. Hey, if it works, it works. There's even a light on here too, so I could pop the light on while I'm playing online, you know. And then here's my chair that I sit on, and down below is all my products sitting there with all my dice and my um, cards. So that's pretty much my online setup. Yes, that's me over there with my hubby and my favorite actress of all time and favorite show, Xena Warrior Princess. Yes. So there you go. There's my setup for online play. It works pretty well for me. And um, I do enjoy playing online. So thank you, everyone. Cheers. Okie dokie, picking a pokey. It's me, James from Dice Masters with James and Zach. 
and I'm here with my big red face to do the Cribs thing for the MOD. So without further ado, I'll just press this button and show you where the magic happens. Uh, so you can see I've got three monitors, but truth be told, I only really use the two on the left. <coughs> um, the This one is for showing my mat or my opponent's mat, and obviously I, I switch between them when I'm recording. And I use the laptop to record, and on that we have Ob Studio. I think it's open broadcast software for, for recording the screen. Um, and this is a scoreboard application, and behind it you can see the Dice Coalition Team Builder website. Uh, very useful. Um, let's have a look over here. We'll scan past the massive pile of dice and cards, which I'm sure you're all familiar with. Um, here we have some art. What can you do with some old cards? You can put them in a frame. Uh, we have a Mr. Grumpy sock filled with rice, which I use as a weight sometimes for the, for the angle poise lamps. Um, and we have my dice tower, which was made from an old mobile phone box and some lolly sticks and some spare material from my, from my daughter's hedgehogs. There you go. Uh, this box was made by my good friend Rastjo. Uh, <clears throat> it's currently used to store spare action dice. I think there's another layer underneath that for sidekicks and stuff. Because uh, as beautiful as it is, quite quickly after I got it, I realised that I'm going to need more space for dice. And so I, some of you may know that I got some uh, dice trays cut, laser cut, to fit in the campaign boxes and there's some more campaign boxes up there so in each of those <coughs> there are two uh, layers and they fit hundreds of dice and that that just about covered all the stuff that i had already and now when i get a new campaign box plus the team packs they can live in the new boxes so for example here we have uh, the water deep and the wrestling stuff which i haven't really quite got into yet uh, this is my dice bag from peter von der Velde. thank you very much peter here's my monkey headphones uh, a little notebook for making notes about videos. Here are some counters. These are these are from Reg, and these are some Hero Clicks figures that I use as God Catchers. Um, and this, yeah, this is probably quite important. Uh, <coughs> this is a new addition. This is a, a blue snowball ice microphone. Uh, I only got it a few weeks ago. Um, Previously, I just used the microphone on my C920 Logitech uh, webcam, and honestly, for online gaming, the webcam audio is perfectly sufficient. Perhaps, if you want to record, um, you might want something better. I, I, I wanted better audio quality on, on my videos, so I thought that will be an investment to the future, hopefully. Um, and the webcam is supported in a sort of Heath Robinson way, um, by it's attached to a, an angle poise lamp. Obviously, the lamp provides light for the gameplay area and also allows me to move it up and down and side to side and whatnot. Uh, the microphone's also on similar angle poise thing, but that one I bought from Amazon for not very much money, I think. Uh, and then we have some spare dice. If you need any of those, just let me know. Uh, some googly eyes and a... a action die holder from Zach, some more tokens from Reg, and I think those are awaiting being prizing at the next tournament. Uh, they're from John Stack, thank you John. And I think really that's about it. Shall I switch the camera around for a finale? That's my wife's desk, you probably don't want to see that over there. Um, yeah, hope that was in some way informative, and keep rolling!